Okay, this in my series of completing the square, I'm going to do a series of questions, and um, but in this video, I'm going to explain why we do it. In completing the square, you're effectively uh, solving for a quadratic where there's a, a variable of x and you will have two solutions. And this way is always works, so you don't have to remember that massive uh, quadratic formula. Okay, so when you have a quadratic equation, you're going to have it in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c equaling to zero. And your goal is to transform it into this uh, format and solve for the unknown variable of x. And to do that, just, just in a generic sense and in a generic form, uh, if you consider two areas, consider it with a width of x being multiplied by x, you will get x squared. And if you add uh, that with another area of uh, length b, width of x, and you try and add them together, you will get a square with a missing gap. So what you're doing is halving this rectangle, putting it, putting that slab on the bottom, and you're trying to work out what that missing gap is. Now by, do, my, by cutting this rectangle in half, you will still have the width of x, but you're gonna have b over two. And that's where that d, which equals b over two a comes from. Now, that's, that's it in a nutshell. And then when you put it together, that's what will happen. You will have this gap filled. And that will still remain b over 2. That will be b over 2, leaving this to be b over 2 squared. And, the, and then the width will be x plus b over 2, x plus b over 2. And that's what you call completing the square. You're filling in this gap that appears. Stay tuned for the questions that I complete to solve for x.